all right welcome back to the channel if you're just joining me for the first time welcome i've got the 25 auto the glacy Bercy out here i'm going to talk about it a little bit i did a video recently about the bernadelli just a quick q a about a couple of comments that had been dropped uh asking me some questions about the way it was assembled and a few other odds and ends here and there a YouTuber recently asked me to do a video regarding an issue he was having with his 25 Gal Well, actually, I d he didn't specify what the caliber was, but he did say it was a Galassi. So his issue was that the slide was locking to the rear. Now, this is a small caliber, usually in rim fire and small center fire pistols like this. You don't have a slide stop or slide release. Opinions vary on the actual name. Magazine follower pushes up on the slide stop so that you know that your gun is empty when you're engaging targets. You can load your next magazine, generally on pistols that you're gonna be shooting like that. It's certainly not a Glock exclusive feature. I'm not educated enough to know what calibers and pistol models include slide locks. I know that my Walter PPK does not have a slide lock but it does lock back to the rear after the last round is fired my first impression of this issue is that it's a magazine issue i don't necessarily have that in mind in this gun but i have had that issue in the past and even with the video with my 1911 at the range i recently had an issue with the slide not locking to the rear which i also believe is a magazine issue my second impression on an issue like that would be that the gun needs a good cleaning it may have some oil built up or some residue maybe years of carbon he didn't really specify that in the comment but that would be that would be my next impression is that it needs a healthy coat of oil and a pretty good cleaning he did mention that he had broken several components down of the firearm so now I'm making a lot of assumptions here because number one, he's not here in the room with me. And number two, I haven't seen the gun myself. So it's really difficult to tell when you're talking about a machine, whether it be a gun or a lawnmower, a car, there's a lot of moving parts. And your first question is going to be, well, what is causing this problem? What is causing this machine not to function in the way you want it to? So, and there can be a lot of answers that we could do a whole web chart about that to figure it out. He asked about the ejector. In this particular gun, the firing pin acts as the ejector. I know it's not that. I think maybe he meant the extractor. So I'm gonna take that out now and show you what that looks like, and that process. I seriously doubt that that would make the slide hang up as well. Unless the extractor pin, which is right here, which is what holds the extractor in, is protruding too far down, which you would be able to tell it should sit pretty recessed inside the slide if that was catching on the frame then maybe but just where it sits there's not really much on the frame for it to catch to it might rub against it a little bit but. so to remove your extractor from the slide so the way I did it and you can see it's a little bit boogered up from the first time that I did this I don't do this very often it is not an easy job so that little hole right there you need a very tiny punch a cloth and probably in my case I needed some needle nose pliers spray it down with a little WD-40 wait just a few minutes I've already got it started there all I did was uh, put the punch down inside the hole and I kind of tapped it against the table until it came out just enough you can see it coming up there just enough to where hopefully, and I'm gonna try it a little bit more, as much as I've moved it, yeah, feel it pop there just a little bit. Put the cloth over it or some sort of a barrier. I'm gonna use a rag here. I'm gonna try to pull that thing out of there. Generally just use a cloth or some sort of a barrier like this to ease up on any damage or scratches or uneven spots that it might cause and I felt it come through free there. Make sure you don't lose that thing, that sucker is tiny. Alright, so there's your extractor pin. 
and your extractor runs just right along the side of the slide. It should just come free and there's a little tiny spring inside there so be careful. And there's your spring. You see where the pin sits down in there. See the rail that sits in there. I've only cleaned this a couple of times since I've owned this gun. I haven't had too many issues. But it is very difficult and it requires some finesse. So you can see the extractor here. There's your tip that grabs the edge of the edge of the cartridge. There's your hole that that pin sits in. So just to replace it, we're gonna go in the reverse order. Place it in there. Now this is under spring tension, so you're gonna to have to push against the extractor to get the pin back down in there. And on the reverse, you may need to, I always go through the top. That was a question in my mind. The first time I did this, well, heck, does it come out through the bottom or does it come through the top? But I always just go through the top. That seemed to make the most sense to me. I've never seen this in writing, how to actually do this or the formal way. Nor have I ever talked to a gunsmith. So if uh, so, do this at your own risk. Certainly doing it at the risk of mine. So what I'm going to do to get back in there, I got the cloth over it, and I'm going to take a little tiny punch. You might use a brass mallet or something. I don't have one. And tap it back in there. You want to make sure that that pin is flush. I can still feel it when I rub my finger on the slide. It's not in there. And there we go. I'll be honest with uh, sight unseen with describing a problem like that. It, it's really difficult to diagnose and tell an issue without having the gun in my hands. But it, he did mention that he had taken the sear and several other components out. So what else along the slide, other than just general grime and buildup, would cause it to lock back and not want to go forward? He also didn't mention whether this was during firing or if this was just during a random cleaning or if he was just doing you know, a safety check or if the gun was even loaded at all, I don't know. Just basing it off that. I thought maybe at first the trigger bar here, this little piece there, might hold it up but I think that the slide you might check that the trigger bar which is this little piece here if you're looking at the top of the gun on the left side it runs lengthwise from the trigger to the uh, to the sear assembly there if it's not seated properly or maybe I mean it's kind of hard to get this thing on upside down it only goes one way there's a hole above the trigger where the bar fits in. Maybe if it wasn't seated well enough, maybe it would catch on the slide. I don't know. But mine fits pretty flush if it's sitting in there properly, so. Seems kind of a mystery to me. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help there. Gun, I'd done a thorough cleaning. Everything looked to be in order. Everything was assembled properly. The safety moved and all that. I'd probably take it to a gunsmith, have it looked at. One thing I do run into is this, it escapes me what this little assembly here is called, but this slide assembly here, if it's not pressed all the way in, the safety won't move. That's an issue I've run into. Safety won't move unless you engage it in the proper position. Sorry I couldn't be more help. So in my unprofessional opinion, I'd say probably need to run it by a gunsmith if it's been cleaned and oiled, assembled properly. Take it to somebody a little bit, quite a bit smarter than me, anyway. Have them take a look at it, see if they can figure it out. Because I am by no means an expert. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And I'll see you in the next one.